foreclosure deals, but this one has a, an element in it that uh, has a little more entertaining than most. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> it's a six-handed poker deal. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got any poker players in the crowd here? You a poker player? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, anyone want to stay afterwards? I guess. <laughs> Quarters in the day. Okay, I've dealt out four hands here to six players here. Uh, <coughs> say you were playing hand, you're playing hand, and you, and you, and you, and you, at least six guys here. Uh, look at your hands, if you will. <coughs> Yeah, I got four cards. Wow. Oh, that's right. You only got four cards. I might just dealt you four. Oh, okay. Now, what I'm going to say here, now, I, mean, I have dealt myself four. Now, if you think that I cheated you in any way up to this point, well, I'm going to give you the option of trading hands with me. Is that fair enough? I think I got a better hand than you. You want to trade with me? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, How much you got to trade? Somebody trade I'll trade with you. I'll trade All right. Okay. Anybody else want to trade? You want to trade with George? Right? No, I'm not good. trading with anybody. Yeah. I got a good hand. Did I deal this good a hand? Oh, real good. Well, anybody can <laughs> trade hands with anybody, including me. And if you're all satisfied with what you got, you know that I haven't done anything cheating so far. I'll deal out the final card here. Two, three, four, five. Let's see. Okay, this is your card. This is yours. Yours? And yours. You're right. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go a little further with you. I want to be fair, you know. <laughs> if there's any card in your hand you don't like, uh, just help yourself take another one out of the pack. You, anyone you want? Anyone you want there. Better your hand if you can. I didn't have lunch out of you. <laughs> Somehow I gave my card. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah, I think George has got everything. No, no, you have to take this one. Oh, that's a good yellow, yeah. Nope. Look at that moment all day. Everybody getting that? I'll play what I got. Okay, everybody's happy now? Yeah. Uh, what, what are you What are you holding? Okay, now. Okay. Huh? Full house. A full house. That's pretty good. How the hell did you get a full house? <laughs> did you draw one card out of here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I w guess I wasn't supposed to let you look. I mean, <laughs> that should have happened. That's no, okay, Al. <laughs> I got a pretty good one. Okay, what do you got? <laughs> I don't have anything. I, have I got a diamond flesh. Anybody <laughs> said, I got a ball. I got, I got a diamond flesh minus one. <laughs> okay, I got uh, three pens uh, and two aces. <laughs> you got four outs, too. <laughs> I've got a gut feeling I did something wrong. <laughs> I got three. Let me do that again. <laughs> remember, these notes are free, folks. Get what you pay for. Right. <laughs> Check the oh, boy. Set it up. All right, set this up from memory or not. Turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You got it? You got it? I just had it in the glass. <laughs> well, the camera didn't learn that, anything from that. That's the kind of show. Did everybody yeah, sign in? Yeah. yeah. Everybody sign in? Yeah. Uh, I'm bored. I think you all got it. Yeah. Sure, they all won. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we this is all professional. You we, know. We, okay. we love you as right now. Now, uh, take, uh, take your card. <laughs> Look at him. I'll tell you, let's not look at him this time. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to just trade hands with me, blind boogie? I will. Uh, well, yeah, all right. Which one is yours? Shoe? Yeah. Okay. Blind yeah. boogie. <laughs> you want to trade? Anybody want to no, no, trade? No, no. trade with no, George, Jerry? Oh, you want to trade with George, don't you? No. no. You don't? Okay. <laughs> you want to trade? Oh, no. I saw what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is everybody satisfied? You know, I have well, I kind of want to know. <laughs> you can give me either one of these hands you want. <laughs> right. you know, that, that's the idea. And then we uh, deal out the final card here. Now then, if you don't like the last card, this is where I goofed up the last time. You look at your last cards, and if you don't like them and you like to trade them for another card, just your last card dealt now. Your last card dealt. Are you, not, are you yeah. supposed to look at them? Yeah, be the top one. Yeah. Uh, Joker's well. 
Now, where's your last card? Yeah, that one? Okay, don't give me anything but your last oh, card. Oh, he did us in. That's what he did. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. You can trade that last card for another one if you're not half. Deuces wild or anything? Yeah. <laughs> it took a while. No, 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 we're not wild. <laughs> okay. That's mine. Right. That's your hand. What do you got over here? Nothing. <laughs> oh, well, you got a pretty oh, close there. I'm not trying to get it. All red right. almost. Yeah, that's what, what I you got there. <laughs> I don't think you can beat me out. Three of a kind. And you? Nothing. I think you got an eight high there or something? Nine high? I got three of a kind, an ace and a queen. Oh, oh. Three of a and what do you got? Ten? Nothing. No. Well, I got a. Uh, that's Royal eight. Flush. <laughs> no, no. Well, you got a full house. Full house. Or full house, I mean. Full house. Full house. <laughs> King's over eight. <laughs> it's a royal full house, though. It's a royal full house. <laughs> yeah. I think it is royally full. I'm not sure. Not, in other words, we lost. <laughs> How, okay. The that idea was, of this yeah. trick is that, that, was uh, and square. that uh, <coughs> is such that you give each guy, each of the six, five players and yourself, uh, four cards. And you can trade those four cards around any way you want, and uh, and my card that I'm going to get for the fifth for card. the final for the fifth card is the one that will make a winner out of any one of these hands. Ah. So that's that's where I, you, you win is when uh, no matter how many they trade cards around, why when you get that last card, it'll make a winner with any out of any hand you give me. I can get maybe a diamond flush or a, a full house or a royal flush or <laughs> several things. Well, it looked like you ripple shuffled without an overlay much. I, I don't know. Well, I cheated there. So I, uh, on the ripple shuffle. Yeah, I, I, that's... Uh, you just ran one through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's good at it. But uh, you, you can just give him a false cut or something, you know, and do the same. So that's, uh, where's those little notes over there? Uh, give me one of those. Can you start over? Yeah, over there. Over there. <laughs> you don't want him to start uh, over. Oh, there we are. <laughs> That's called pro curriculum, and that's a that's a, 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 a trick of Stuart James's, and the the setup is is here for you, and uh, so I don't think you have any trouble doing that. But what's different about it is the fact that the you get the customers participating there, trading ads, and get a lot of jokes out of it. Now that's a full deck set. Uh, no, 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 no. It's only. Uh, well, about maybe twenty cards. Twenty cards. Not, not too, not too many. Uh, Six, four, twenty, twenty-four, twenty, twenty-five cards. Actually, you want to shuffle those up? Sure. Be careful, you don't mix them. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it with him. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a prediction here. Let's see, I'll use that one. Maybe this night. You shuffle these cards yourself. Is yes. that correct? I want you to take the cards. I won't touch them anymore. Boy, trap. And then. Uh, Deal them face down one at a time. And uh, you can stop at any time. You can go as long as you want. You can stop at any time. But you're not getting paid by the hour. No. Okay. Now, I, I got the message. <laughs> now, if you want to, would you, if you want to put a few back, or, or you want a couple, couple back. Sorry, you want to put a few more down. Doesn't make difference. Okay, that's right. Very good. You're satisfied at that point. Yes. And we're going to mark that. Place that you stop with that face that card down. Stop at any any point you feel feel the urge. Too much uh, dishwashing. Yeah. On the oil that I mean. You want to stop there now? You want to take one back, put a few down. You're satisfied with that <laughs> position. <laughs> okay, right there. <laughs> Drop a deck on there. Now we've marked the spot at which each of these gentlemen here have uh, stopped the deal, and I want to show you a very peculiar coincidence here. Here's the point at which you stop. And you notice here, I have laid down a black two here, and I was stopped at the black two. Hmm. Here I laid down a black king, and I was stopped at the black king. Now that's, well, that's quite worth a the price of admission. Yes, yes, <laughs> sure, yes. Hmm. It's a very simple, strictly a prompt trick. Any fool can do it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All you do after the deck is, is returned to you is to, to note the top card. In this case, it's a black nine. And run through the deck and look for the mate to that card. It would be the other black nine. And lay it face up on the table like that. 
Then you look at the, the bottom card, which in this case is a, is a black king. Run through the deck and take out the mate to that card. Right? That's all you have to do. The rest of the trick works itself. They, they deal down through here like this, and what's really happening is no matter how many they deal, and they put this on here, and you drop the deck on there, your black king is mating with that card right now. Ooh. Now it was on the bottom to begin. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Now the next guy he deals down and it doesn't make any difference where he stops. Uh, that card is put there to mark where he stops and that mates with the with the other. Nice. Show him and take your bow there or whatever. That's called Gemini twins. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. That's good because yeah. I even understand that. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. none, none of these tricks require yeah. Yeah. much sleight of hand or anything, you know. So, uh, this next thing is a uh, uh, trick that I call the, uh, well, the name of it is this Australian Five. And uh, we're going to do much the same thing as we did just just a moment ago. I want you to take the deck and, well, I want you to deal like this. Whenever you feel like stop, we'll stop at that point. Right? I want to, I don't want to control you in any way. Can I shuffle? Don't be. No. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I just shuffled. <laughs> <laughs> I just got him ready. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to be sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now look at that last card. You don't let me. Don't let me see it. Okay. And drop the rest of the deck on top. Jeff, will you square up the deck and you do the same thing? Just, uh, okay, good. Yes. Yeah, deal down through there. Stop at any point. Through there. And then look at your last card. You don't care. Remember the card now. Drop the deck back on top. It's called the Australian Five. They have, they have Australia is the down and that's trick. And back five there, wherever it is. One there. Five cards to go there. Now, if you each take pick your cards up there. Now, in, in Australia, they they have a, what's called down and under. It's a down and under card. I want you to deal the first card down like that on the table, and then put on the oh, much more there. And put the next card under. <laughs> next card down. Next card under, and continue until you got just one card. Now in this trick, you all you know you didn't goof up. If if these cards wind up on top, face up, there you know nobody blew it. <laughs> what was the card you selected? Eight of clubs. Turn the card up. Eight of clubs. We did again. Your card. Six of hearts. Six of hearts. There we go. Yeah, that's a good theory. This requires a very very simple setup. You just get a your black fives and put one five second from the top and one five five from the top. That's all there is. That's the only setup there is to it. This, that would be your setup. The second card, three, four, and a, and a black five, the fifth. So that you just put those on top, and you're all you're all set to go. Now, now when you get ready to do the trick, uh, what you do is de say, say I want you to deal until you t and stop at any time, and then drop these on there. And what that does, that puts a five second from the bottom and it puts a five second from the top by you doing it through here like this, doesn't it? And where they stop, they look and say the same guy there. He looks at the five of hearts. So now you run through here, this is all in instructions, so you will, you will through here looking for the black fives. Now up to this time, I run through here looking for the black fives, and when I come to a black five, I put that face up on the table and put the cards by right hand under the cards by left hand. In other words, I cut the deck at that point. Then I turn the deck face down and deal five cards on top of it. And that, those cards are given to the second person. In this case, this would be a check. Then you go through and you find the next black five, and you cut the deck at that point, put the five down, put the ones in your right hand under, under. so that cuts the deck at that point. And once again, deal five more cards. Now, if they do the down and under deal here, down and under, down and under, down and under, down, we come up to one of the cards, seven of clubs, and the same thing here, down, under, down, and under, down, and under, down, 
Henry, <coughs> Sam, and the other car. <coughs> Everybody understand that? You do explain it to me. I <laughs> well, here's another. Uh, Jeff, you uh, a shuffle up card there. You may know this is an old trick I'm going to show you, but uh, it's new to a lot of spectators, and uh, and, and it may be new to some of you magicians. But notice that uh, Jeff has the deck, and uh, I won't even touch the deck at this point on. I want you to set them down, cut them into two parts. Of course, I couldn't know the location of any card. Is that correct? I hope not. <laughs> I'd like you to count, count your cards face down so even you don't look at the faces. Count, see how many Just see how many you got. You count them faster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, eleven. I didn't check. I hope it's checked out. Fifty-two cards. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm just going to put my hand around. I'm not even going to touch the cards. Yeah. Impossible, you think, me to tell the colors of these cards that I haven't seen them. But uh, you have, uh, I feel that you have one more red card in your pile than I have blacks in mine. You have one more red card in your pile than I have blacks in mine. You shuffle the deck. Mm -hmm. Count how many red cards you have there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You have ten. I said you'd have one more red card than I have blacks. So you have ten reds. See how many blacks I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. <laughs> that seems impossible because you, you don't look at the faces of the cards or anything. It is impossible. <laughs> but it, it, uh, it, it just works. Now, what, what do you do here? Uh, you want to try, George? Uh, Cut off a few cards there. It doesn't have to be 26 or anything. It can be any number. About half? Do you anything. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. Now uh, count your cards. And, you know, a magician doesn't doesn't look at the faces, and neither does the spectator. Does he have to reverse the order? No. No. Don't have to worry about any of that. 21. 21. Now all I'm going to do is subtract the number of cards he has from 26. He has a lesser number, so 21 and 26 is 5. In your case, you had 27, and I subtract 26 and 27, you got 1. So knowing that he's got 21 here, right, George? Mm -hmm. And there's 26 is half the deck, so 21 and 26 is 5. Right? 5, right? So all I have to do is take the bigger half and say uh, there are 5 more red cards in this pile than there are black ones in that pile. And it works. And it does work? No, it works. There's 5 more red cards in that pile, and there's Red cards in that pile, there's black cards in that one. As a matter of fact, I'm not, I don't, sorry this to confuse you, but you can say it the other way around. You can say there's five more black cards in there than there are red ones in that one. It's still one. So you don't have to worry about that. So uh, you count your red cards there, and I'm going to have five more blacks over here than you, you do. You do reds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. You want to count my red cards? That was red ones I was counting. Oh, red. I count my black then. Sixteen. That's all you have. Who said five more? I still don't understand it. I, I understand don't where you got the number, but I don't see how yeah. the heck it works. <laughs> well, uh, it's a mathematical principle. For every red card, there's a black card. Yeah, but how do you know you don't have all black ones? Well, it doesn't make any difference. But you don't well. have to understand it to do it. It's fun fooling yourself, isn't it? It does work every time? Oh, every time, every time. Every Be sure you have a full deck of 52 cards. I don't work with any better. And, and, and don't have a joker. Take out, you know, so I took out the yeah. joker. And it does work if you have all one color? And yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. So he has red. That's what's true. You always say yeah. he had red. Say he had, uh, he let's say he had 20 red cards. There, anything, okay, and I got all the rest of them. 
All right, let's say he had 20 red, yeah, red cards and I ain't got all the red cards. Okay, 20 from 26 is 6, right? Okay, I, I would say I have uh, six more black cards. Six more black cards and you got red cards. So how do you know that he's got all red cards? That's, that's the way what I don't understand. That's what the thing I don't that, that, that won't happen. Oh, it won't happen. I am going to set up an example. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Still right. work, you counted. You counted these. You cut those off, and you got thirteen blacks. But I don't know this, and you don't know it. So 13 from 26 is 13, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say I've got 13 more red cards in here than you have black ones. Yeah, but you know that these are black cards. Well, well then I'll say I have 13 more red ones than you get. Oh, okay. Black ones are okay. black ones. You got either way, it's going to work. <laughs> say I had, uh, like I said before, I have 13 more red cards than you have black. And you say, yeah, you got 13. Well, I got 26 black or 26. Red. 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 Red
drop it in there someplace. You get a nice card? Oh, I got a good one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Once in a while, I'm lucky and I get the card to the top. Is that your chance? That's not my card. Or I might be lucky and get, get it to the bottom. How about the one on the bottom? Is that in your? That's not my card either. Well, I'm going to run through them here. I want you to see if you see your card. But don't, don't. I just want you to impress it on your mind. See, but don't tell me. I don't care. I'm not sure, but I no, think... No, okay. Didn't see it yet? Well, let's, I'll tell you, let's do this. Uh, say, say you, I want you to spell your card out, for example. I don't know what you've got, but... Uh, well, say you had six of diamonds. I don't know what's your card. Spell, deal the card to spell S-I-X-6 -X, and put an of O-S-F of uh, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S and you spell six of diamonds. Oh, my God. And there's the six of diamonds. <laughs> Now, is that part of the trick or was that? No, no, no. you try it. Now, what was your card? Ace of hearts. Spell Ace of hearts. A C G O M H A E A R T. And it's a face up. How about that? I didn't want you to miss it. You didn't want me to miss it. That's a pretty simple trick to do. You Bring the card, shows the card to a position the uh, second from the top, let's say the ten of diamonds. And, uh, or you can just bring it to the top and then in course of an overhand shuffle you can shuffle the card on top of it. In any case, wind up with the chosen card second from the top, seven of diamonds, second from the top. And then you turn over the top card and say, is your card perchance on the, on the top? And as they say, no, you're, you're getting, you get a little break. Oh between that and the, and the second card, see? And then say, so how about on the bottom? Is it on the bottom? And as you do that, you rotate this deck and, and hold on to this double card and put it on the bottom. Now, that's very easy to do. You say, is that your card? I say, no. Uh, how about on the bottom? See? And as you, as you show it to them on the bottom, you're, you're looking at glimpsing their card like this <laughs> from the back, see? Oh, yeah. So you know, you know that they got the seven of diamonds. So now I'll spell seven of diamonds as I have to go here to look for your card. I'll spell whatever card I glimpsed here with seven of diamonds. S-E-V-E-N-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D. But I leave off the S because the card that I is on the bottom, so I've got to leave the S off. And then I start with the next <coughs> card. Of course, I'm doing the spelling to myself. Whatever the next card is, then you spell it in the same way, like the next card here is the nine of clubs. N I N E O F C L U B S. And you say, Have you seen your card yet? And they say, No. They say, Well, let's do it this way and cut the deck at that point. Now you you just set the deck up to spell the nine of clubs. Say. So you say, yeah, What I want you to do is, is spell out your card. Say, for example, you had, oh, any card, nine of clubs, you know, like, like you just picked it out of there. <laughs> N I N E O F C L U B S. And this would be your card. And then you Take a oh. double take. And so <laughs> that wasn't an accident. You no, I was. I thought it was. Two. I thought it was. Then they their card. S E V E N O F D I A M O N D, and on the letter S, why their their card will be. Wow, their that's face powerful. Up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been doing too many cards. I decided. I cut it in half, so they wound up with it there. And what we have here is, is five cards that's been uh, cut in half. Actually, you got ten, ten cards. Do you want to shuffle this up? <laughs> this is a, a, a little thing you can carry in your pocket. It makes a good pocket trick. And uh, if you didn't want to use playing cards, you could use uh, five postcards cut in half or five photographs cut in half or, or any old thing. With, if this will work with that. I want you to take uh, part of this because part of this card is Jeff and you keep the rest of them and I don't want to see how many you've got and how many he's got so and then each of you count your cards and remember your numbers tell me when you're done okay now you know how many each of you know how what your numbers are mm -hmm. how many cards you have all right assemble them into one packet again and then shuffle them up real good 
And uh, you keep those numbers in mind, because I'm going to have you look at the cards applied to those positions after you get that shuffle in there. Okay. I will start with you here. Uh, I want you to look, look for this and remember the card that's at your number. Three. But don't don't tell me. Don't okay. tell me. Okay. You you do the same now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. And you, do you have a card too? Okay. Now what I want you to do is to secretly take out your card. Don't peek. <laughs> Uh, and put your card down there, your half a card or whatever. And you do the same, Jeff. Uh, now they each had an unknown known number of cards to me, so I had no way that I could know which card that they looked at. And even if I did, uh, I wouldn't have any control over it. Yeah. Wouldn't it be a coincidence that you each selected the same card? What'd you say? Seven spades? And they go. You like rope tricks. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't do it. No, we didn't do it. This is no reality. Okay, let's do that and again. Let's fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did. No, I, mean, I, thought, yeah, I, I had number I four. Did, I didn't see it. Now, you guys aren't cheating. No. no. Oh, no. I wasn't as worried. This, this, this has got to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. All right, do it one more time. All right, you uh, give him part of the card. You got <coughs> How many you start with? Ten? Ten. There's yeah. ten there, yeah. And, uh, okay. You each know your numbers. Sure. Uh, assemble the groups together and shuffle them up. And you don't need to know a card. No, not now. Not now. Right. Just know how many cards yeah, you have. That's what I did. You either have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, or something. How many number? Whatever. Okay. okay. There you go. Here you each go. have one number in mind. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to go down through and you think of your the card that's at you. Okay. Think of the three. You look at third card, you know, and so forth. Remember the card that you position. Do you get it? And you too, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. One. You remember your number? Yeah. Two, three, four, <laughs> Wasn't five, that long ago. <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. You seen it? Uh -huh. You got the card that's your, your number, right? Uh -huh. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really, I really don't mess up the All right. Take out your take out your card and uh, lay it face down there. And you take out yours. Yeah. Anyway. You don't mess them up intentionally. Huh? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, let's see if we did it. Uh, yeah, King of Cups. Uh, so they come out. Quite a coincidence. Uh, hmm. I blew it. Did you remember you, you what did. you did? Yeah. I know what I did now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this one. I appreciate it. Okay. All you have to do. Uh, <laughs> Somebody takes part of it, somebody takes the rest. Uh, let's say this, <laughs> this guy over here has got six cards and this guy has four. Well, you don't know what those numbers are and you don't have to. But we go, th you, you take the cards back from them after they shuffled them and you go down through and the guy that's remembered the fourth card, he remembers the fourth one here. One, two, three, so he'd remember the four clubs. See? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, and when you deal the tenth card, instead of dealing it, use that as a scoop and scoop up the, this is very important, scoop <laughs> up the rest of the cards. <laughs> and the other guy uh, had six, so he would remember six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And naturally, he's going to get the same card the other guy got. And so then they each, each lay out their halves. It's best that they not be next to each other so they can see what each guy's getting, you know. But then when they lay out the two halves, the surprise is when they find that they've each taken the same card. And that's all there is to that. Uh, and you have them shuffled to begin with, right? And you have them shuffled to begin with. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all shuffled. Great. Now, let's here, uh, since these are mates here, let's see if we're going to put these in. This is a... Now it's a good follow-up to this, to this trick. If you're carrying that, do that trick while well, you can do this one. And uh, I'm going to give you a, a one of each of these, and I have one of each. See, this will be yours over here, and this will be mine here. And uh, we're going to spell out the words. Will the cards match? And as we spell each letter, uh, each letter of the word, why well, we'll put a card from the top to the bottom. 
and we do it on either pile that you direct. So we're going to spell out first the word will. So for the letter W, shall I take the card from the, this pile or that pile? This pile here, we'll put it. That's W. And now I from this pile or this pile? W, I, L. Oops. And L. Over here? Over here. That's will. And I, you could have done that any way you wanted. Then we're going to take those two cards off on the side. Now the next word is going to be the. Will the cards match? We're going to spell the. So give me, give me a T. T H E. Still over here. Okay. And we take this card on the side. Now the next word is cards. Will the cards match? So it's C C A R. D, S. And we lay those two cards out. See, I have no control over how these cards are falling. And the last word is match. So we'll spell out the word match. It's M, A, T, C, H. Why don't you do it all there? Okay, M, A, T, C, H. I think you all agree that I could have no possible control over the outcome of this. Yes. <laughs> no, <not laughs> Notice we have here two fives of hearts. Jeez. Two fours of clubs. Two sevens of spades. Two queens of diamonds. Two kings of clubs. <laughs> Anybody would have thought I really screwed him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's the end of the lecture and uh, I'll, I'll show you now how this was done. And, uh, everything's explained in a nutshell. Uh, arrange your cards and, and let the two together, you know, so that they're in pairs, like we have here. And as you say, I want you to take half of the cards, while well, you simply go through and you pull out either one of those two there and lay them down face up like this. And what this does, after you've laid down one of these cards, his pile, this pile, is in a reverse order of this pile. And then that's, that's on that principle that the trick works. So you just have to follow those uh, instructions and it's going to work. They spell it. Uh, yeah, W, I, L, and maybe L over here. It doesn't make any difference. How are you doing? These are going to match. You want to tell me another one? <laughs> <laughs> you do a V. I don't understand. V. All the other pile. T. O. That's okay, that's good. Over here. H. Same pile. E. <laughs> 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 Try me again. Cards. <laughs> yeah, another I. All the Will the cards. C over here. All C. A. R. D. S. Take off these together. And we have the four of clubs. <laughs> and so forth. It, it just works. I don't think it's based on the think about that. I'm you don't have to understand it. It just works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not clear why it works. It's based on the Gilbert principle. It's one of the tricks based on the Gilbert principle. Well, the first one has the even number and the rest have odd. So that's uh, that's it. And I have here. Oh, yeah. 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 That is all right. <laughs>